tell me. What's wrong? Hmm. What's wrong? I, I told you. I I'm not sleeping well. Are you depressed? Alone? Lonely? No. More the opposite. Listen, Catherine. I I'm going to tell you something, but you mustn't make fun of me, you hear? I promise. There's someone here. What? What do you mean? Who is it? Not now. Not when I'm here. There's someone here. In my studio. I can see it in little details. I'm not alone here. Come on. That's nonsense. Who'd break into your studio? Is anything missing? No. Nothing. But I can feel it. Someone comes in when I'm not here. When I come back, a cloth is lying a, a millimetre to the left. Or a book is open at another page. Or a canvas is leaning at a, a slightly different angle against the wall. No. Rubbish. You're imagining it. You see? You're making fun of me. You, you think I'm mad, right? That... no. No, not at all. It's terrible if you're scared. I only... I only wanted to reassure you. You're probably mistaken. That's what I wanted to say. Shall we get you anything? Do you need paints or canvas? I've still got the key for the faculty. I'll have a look in the storeroom later. Hmm, we'd better buy that stuff. They'll realize if something goes missing. The new Chancellor has got every single pencil itemized. Not in the storeroom. I spoke to Dawson and Trevor. They don't touch the story. They say that the old stuff from before 2005 is worthless. It doesn't even exist according to the new inventory. They'll be throwing it all out. Throwing it away? Everything? The paintings from past students? You're not serious. Shall I have a look to see if there are still some of your works in there? The picture of my father. Perhaps that's still lying around. <laughs> you want that back? He called today. Gosh. And, uh, what did he say? I didn't pick up. He said... He said all the best for your birthday. <laughs> That's more than I said. Are you going to call back? I don't know. Where's the painting of Jessica? It was always back there in the corner. I... burned it. You did what? I couldn't stand her looking at me anymore. Her eyes changed over the years. She looked at me like a stranger. But it was just a picture. Exactly. That's why I burned it. I don't need that stare. I want to keep Jessica in my memories. Just like I knew her. Robert, that painting looked like it always did. You should know better, Catherine. Perception is in the eye of the beholder. Jessica didn't change. I changed. That's what I saw in her eyes. That's what I didn't want to see anymore. The painting didn't become alien to me. I became alien to the painting. I'm worried about you. Won't you come round for dinner tonight? Ah, oh, don't worry. I got some soup from yesterday. You can't live on that. <laughs> you can't die from it either. I'll be fine. Listen, I've got to go. You really won't come over for some dinner. I'd rather do some work. Okay. Then take care, all right? Look after yourself. I'll be in touch. Oh dear. They're all long overdue. falling apart. He really isn't doing too good. Hey. 
So what did McBride say? Is he going to do it? Yes, but he isn't well. I told you, he's slowly reaching that age. You should know. He burned the painting of Jessica. Seriously? He says he's changed. He can't stand seeing the picture anymore. He also thinks he's being followed. He said that when he's not there, people go snooping around in his studio. Ah, oh, heck. So he really has changed. He's gone all paranoid then. Or could there be some truth in it? Has he got any evidence? He said he knows that it's true. He can see it in certain details. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. If he's right, we've got a serious problem. We've got a problem, Mike, because he's unwell. He's our friend. We've got to help him. Okay, okay, but how? I've never been particularly pally with him. You're his favorite. Tell us what we can do for the old boy and we'll do it. I'll do it. That's nice of you. Take the rubbish out with you, okay? Weren't you gonna do that? Hey, I had things to do. The London Museum plan. Forgotten already? And? Have you got it? Ha! What do you think? Of course. Not. But I know where we can get it. The building was designed by the architects Wilbur and Thompson. I've already been on their server. But? Yeah, well, this server has some teeny-weeny security features. Nothing serious, but it's going to take me the whole day to crack it. Okay, then we'll go to the museum tomorrow and have a look around. Okay, off we go. Jack Stern, haven't got time now. Goodbye. Stop. Oh, Chief. Hey, Chief, how's it going? Sorry, I, I, I didn't see it was you. What can I do for you? Jack, how long have you been working for us? Oh, come on, Chief. I'm sorry. My phone's ringing all day. I just wanted to... Uh... How long? 11 years. And do you want to continue working for us? Yes, Chief. Then don't hang up again before I tell you to. No, Chief. Good. I'll be sending you a file soon. Death of a member of the British government. The security threat level's been increased. You'll be checking whether this thing has any relevance to our security. You read the files, travel to London, have a look at this thing, and then write a report immediately. Questions? No, Chief. Then fine. Now, you may hang up. Thanks, Chief. Knucklehead. Frazier's old computer? Oh, the Chief loves me. My badge. I've given up giving it up. I urgently ought to sort my mail out. The automat in the hall spits this stuff out, and then I drink it. Susan's father gave it to me as a wedding present. And then after the divorce, he wanted it back, the old tight ass. I've been hoping for years that this place would burn down. My work phone. Hey, that's my passport. Here in the case is another special little tool. My bump key, very useful. Works rather faster than a search warrant. I've been hoping for years that this place would burn down. And I just love headaches. My apartment.
Okay, then I'll give the ladies and gentlemen a call. Are. We've got it. Good. MI5, Special Agent Jordan Bellica. Jack Stern, International Police, Washington. Hi, Jordan. So, how's the weather over there? It's raining. Do you know how late it is here, Mr. Stern? Yeah, of course. I'm not disturbing you, am I? I assume you're calling about the Henston case. Your boss gave me advance warning. Exactly. I know. It's a real whodunit. We'd like to get an idea of this thing at first hand. Our whole department has been working non-stop for the past 48 hours. I'm on my way home. I've just come from the pathologist. Okay. I'll keep it short. I plan to fly out today. I'd be there tomorrow morning. Does that suit you? Not particularly, but it can be organized. And can you arrange a set of wheels for me? What do you have in mind? A van would be good. One of those surveillance vans. Mm, that's doable. Any particular features or fittings? If you had a sleeping bag? Sure. And perhaps a steering wheel on the right side? <laughs> the steering wheel is on the right side. British sense of humor, huh? Very good. Uh, so I'm flying to London Central, and then I'll come out to you. No one will be able to pick you up. We'll park your van in the airport car park and leave the key for you at the check-in. I'll send you an email with the password soon. You have my mobile number, just in case. Wonderful. Then good night. See you tomorrow. You can open almost any lock with a bump key. Hmm. Okay.